Welcome everyone. I am Indrajit and this is Suji Singh's vlog. On this platform, we're gonna talk about some interesting topics and uh, today we're gonna talk about the topic reading Shakespeare today. Bard of Avon or the national poet of England, Shakespeare was the greatest writer of Elizabethan era who wrote about 37 plays, 154 sonnets, two long narratives along with other works. He was a writer not of an age but of all ages, observed Dr. Johnson. After over 400 years, Shakespeare still surrounds us in this 21st century. Why? What is the reason? Everybody knows Shakespeare, everybody reads Shakespeare, everybody calls Shakespeare. Why we are still reading Shakespeare after so many years of his death? Dr. Johnson says, Shakespeare is above all writers, at least above all modern writers, the poet of nature, that is general human nature. He shows his readers the true picture of humanity. His characters are the product of true are the product of true humanity. His, uh, his characters are neither totally bad nor they are totally good. Actually, they are the amalgamation of good and evil. His characters uh, are of grey color. For example, in Julius Caesar, uh, the character of Brutus shows the grey color because he is uh, he's good for his integrity but He's bad for what he did with his best friend. Shakespeare has a wide range of different characters. We can find the sum total of humanity in his works. He portrayed general human nature so aptly that when we read his works, we easily identify ourselves with the characters and the situation in which he or she is placed. Shakespeare is famous for his language of the common people of his time and his wonderful stories. Though he did not create new stories of his own, but modified all stories which were already in the society. That helps people in easily familiarization with his plays. In A Midsummer Night's Dream, a play within a play, that is the story of Pyramus and Thisbe, is the retelling of the story from Ovid's Metamorphosis. The themes and messages his plays present have universal appeal. They were applied at the time of Elizabethan era and they are still relevant at present also. His character shows such emotions, thoughts, feelings, actions which are common to every person. Jealousy of Othello, pride of King Lear, Treachery of Claudius in the conflict of Hamlet, excessive ambition of Macbeth are the general quality of any other person in the world. In Merchant of Venice, Shakespeare shows us the inhuman treatment that Shiloh gets from Antonio. You call me misbeliever, cutthroat dog. You spit upon my Jewish gabardine. You all for use that which is mine own. Uh, this is also relevant today, for example, all over the world, Muslims are treated as in the same way as Shylock was. Though Shakespeare died in 1616, he still speaks, instructs his readers through his words. For instance, in the opening scene of Hamlet, when Francisco and Bernardo meet each other, Francisco speaks to Bernardo. Nay, tell me, and bold yourself. These are not only the words that a person speaks to another. Actually, here Shakespeare addresses his reader directly and instructing him to unfold himself, which means to explore the inner self. That is, who are you? In this way, every single word of Shakespeare has some deep meaning in it. He has always something to teach us, whether conscious or unconscious. 
His writings demands deep analysis to dig out for hidden meanings. He touches universal themes of all time, for example, love, friendship, women's position, jealous, life, ambition, marriage, parents, conflicts, etc. He gives his views on almost every general concept for love. He says, the course of true love never did run smooth. For friendship, he says, to mingle friendship for is to mingling blood. Thus, after 400 years, Shakespeare is still immortal. He is still alive in his writings, in our heart. He is not only a poet of all time, but a poet of humanity also. We are indebted to him for some modern, well-used language. I conclude this topic with my favorite quote from Shakespeare in his All's Well That Ends Well. Love all, trust a few, do wrong to none. Thank you.